All right, folks, today I'm going to show you how to export products using Unergy's U-Rapid Flow Pro. Uh, what happened is I created a demo store uh, and some of the Magento sample data, the images weren't hooking up um, from the sample data that Magento provided. So if I go to the cameras page, you can see that a lot of these images are vacant. I should have images for all of those within the sample data, but for whatever reason, uh, I got some bad sample data. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, log in uh, to our admin. Go to uh, the Rapid Flow section. All right, and we got to create a profile so that we can export uh, these products and specify the correct path to their images. So let's go add profile. All right. Now we're in here. The title is going to be, I'll just keep it simple, product export. Perfect. Uh, it's going to be enabled. It's going to be a type of export. Uh, data type is going to be products. Uh, switch that up. I'm not going to. All right. Data type is products. Uh, store view admin. Sure. Uh, that'll work. File location, we're going to let it go to the default, which is uh, var, uh, I think, U Rapid Flow Pro, and then import or export, depending on what you're doing. We'll go through that in a sec. Uh, I think we should be good. That should be rocking. Uh, if we want to get all crazy with code and do this in JSON, we could do that, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we'll go save and continue. Oh, I'm sorry. File name. Duh. Uh, for this, I'm going to go all, uh, I'll just go all product export. That'll work. All right. Save and continue. All right, perfect. So that's created. Uh, we've created the profile. We know that our, our export is going to come out as all product export dot CSV. Uh, that'll be great. We know where it's going to come out in the location. So let's go through the options. All right, server type, we're good here. We don't need anything here. This can all stay at its default. Uh, if we wanted to get really fancy with this extension, it allows a lot of functionality to do so. Uh, I'm not going to at this point. Uh, so let's go format options. File encoding, we're just looking for the regular UTF-8 encoding. Uh, let's keep going down. Uh, export options. Export options, we're going to go to uh, auto export image files. We don't want to export the image files, uh, not nor the URLs. I'm just going to straight start from scratch. So this can all stay at its defaults as well. Uh, export columns. Here's where I'm going to start specifying stuff. So let's go to. Uh, I'm going to have the SK uh, product name rather. So. Da, 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 da. Where's the P? So we'll get skew. Uh, let's add that. We'll get, uh, let's go to image, which is base image. Yeah, there it is. Base image, add that as a column. Uh, and lastly, I will add name uh, for product name. A little bit easier to identify what I'm working with with the name. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shift this so it's in column two as opposed to three. Uh, so it'll go skew, name, and then the base image. Uh, and that'll just give the path so that I can correct the path along with the file name. Uh, and I should be good to go here. Uh, conditions, uh, we don't have any conditions. We're just doing everything. So. Uh, Configuration is JSON. It's building this based upon the options we've selected in these tabs. So that's good. Uh, I think we are ready to rock. Oh, one more thing. Up here where I named it all product export, let's go ahead and tack on a .csv to that so that uh, we're ready to rock as soon as we export it. Uh, all right, let's let it rip. Save and run. And one of the best things about this U Rapid Flow Pro is it is so fast. 147 products already done. 
Let's go to the FTP, uh, which I'm already connected on. Uh, we're going to go, as I said, to VAR, uh, Rapid Flow Pro, export. There it is. All product export. Go ahead and drag that to my desktop. Let's go back to the desktop. All right. There's all product export. Pop that open. And we can see the SKU, the name, and the image. Let's make it a little bigger. Uh, and I can correct whatever I need to. There's the path to the image along with the file name. So it's as easy as that. Once I do that, I can import it back in. And uh, I'll show you how to do that in the next video.